Hey guys, this is Random Reviewer 16 here. Today we're going to take a look at HP's TC1100. Uh, this model is running Intel's Pentium M one point, at 1.0 oh gigahertz. It's got 1.5 gigabytes of RAM and a 60 gig hard drive. Uh, this one is now running Windows 7, and uh, I'd just like to point out that this model originally came out in 2003. So, uh, what I really like this device. The size seems just right. It's at 10.4 inch display and with this device since it's running, running Windows 7 you can multitask so I can operate Microsoft's Office I can open up Word and then I can open up uh, PowerPoint, Excel and OneNote and I can run them all at the same time and switch in between programs rather quickly and then for those who want a tablet for ebook purposes, you can download Amazon's Kindle for PC software from the website and then you can make this into a, an ebook reader. So here you can just download the books and then you can open up one you want to read and just flip through it like a typical ebook, which makes it really good. And then for the internet experience, what I have here. It really makes it, uh, because it runs Windows 7, the internet is really runs really well. Everything is there. So here I have Yahoo, and I also downloaded the app uh, Grab and Drag, and I'm able to do that. And also I can go to other websites, and uh, this has a belt in jog dial on the side. So here, so I can just scroll down and up easily, and it also functions as a button. Then I can even go to YouTube and watch videos from here. So it doesn't have an accelerometer, but it does have a, a screen orientation button, which changes the orientation of the screen. And I'll just let you see what the videos look like. So I'll just choose this one right here. So first we gotta understand. So the what video quality plays so pretty well on this size. But if you blow it up, pretty much either a spray or a lotion that attaches there's a little bit of lag, top layer but of it's still skin, watchable. Which is why they only last about maybe a week or two. The reason for that is because you are constantly shaking. And then, if you want to watch videos like the that shows that you downloaded to your computer, you can. It works perfectly fine. And I'll give you an example here. Hi, I'm Chuck. Here's a few things that you might need to know. Frame rate seems well. Even when you blow it up. You killed somebody, Chuck. You didn't kill them all. What? I did. It's time you learned the truth about your wife's mind. Alright. So. Let's reorientate the screen. What I really like about this device is that the size seems just right uh, for 10.4. Also, uh, there's many extras built into this device that, uh, for a seven-year-old device, is pretty cool. It's got this jog dial, these uh, tablet PC buttons, and then this also has a PC card, SD card reader, and uh, if you open this up, you can see it's got two USBs, a modem, Ethernet, and also VGA out. Also with this device, you have a keyboard which fits in like this and then it becomes and then you can use the keyboard which the keys here are about 95 percent but it feels good and you got this trackpad here or button here and the left and right buttons here uh, some of the things I don't like about this machine is that uh, there is no touch or multi-touch gestures um, the input is only through this stylus, so if you lose this, uh, you can't use it anymore as a tablet, really. And also, the device weighs about 3.1 pounds, uh, but it seems to carry it well. Also, uh, some of the tablet buttons don't work with Windows 7, but it's not that big of a deal. And when you carry this thing around, you most likely will have to carry, have a protective case for it, uh, because uh, it only folds down this way, and not and it doesn't protect the screen. 
And also, the other thing I don't like is uh, by today's standards, the battery doesn't last that long, only giving me about two hours at best, two and a half maybe. And um, but overall, I, I really think this is a a good tablet running Windows 7 uh, really well. So uh, that's it on my review of the HP T HP's uh, TC1100. I hope you guys like this review, and I'll see you guys next time on my next random review.